a uh, pleasant morning dear students today i am here with the next chapter of your book a syllabus lesson number 3 the silver arrow this story is taken from the merry adventures of robin hood robin hood was a brave young man who challenged the king and his mean ways in this sentence we come to know out two things that robin hood was a brave young man and the king was a mean person mean fellow he was banned by the government so he lived in a forest with his group of men since he was against the king he was he was sent away and he lived in a forest with his group of men it was a sunny wednesday in nottingham one of the sheriff's men came riding through the town he took out a poster this man had a poster he took out the poster from his bag and hung it on the lamp post the little boy was watching him As soon as he left the boy took the poster and ran off into the woods he i suppose he carried the news to the woods woods means jungle here forest where's robin he shouted as he ran through sherwood forest the boy was looking for robin hood the best archer in all all of england robin hood was the leader of the group of people called the merry men they had performed a group here and the leader's name was robin hood they all lived in the forest and wore green jackets robin hood took the poster from the boy and read it lads we are going to nottingham he called out to his band of outlaws the sheriff is holding an archery contest in 3 days and the prize is a silver arrow this shows that there was an archery contest for which robin hood had decided to go he had decided to compete in that archery competition Don't go. It's a trap. He's trying to capture you, said one of his men. Since he had gone out, uh, um, he was sent out of the place and he started uh, living in a uh, this thing forest. One of his men this, uh, one of his men suggested him not to approach, not to go towards this uh, get attracted or get lured by this contest since it would be a trap nonsense he'll never catch me robin hood answered confidently robin hood was very confident that the no one would be able to capture me robin hood was once a noble man he was a he was loyal to the king the king was fighting wars in far off lands and he had left his brother the prince to rule in his absence but the prince was an evil man he took away the lands of all the noble men who were loyal to the king and um since uh, children robin hood was loyal it was but natural that his land would have been taken away after robin hood's lands were taken away he escaped into the forest there he found other people whom prince had mistreated and he taught them archery and fencing he was himself a very good master of these two things so he started training other people also 
for archery and fencing the sheriff of nottingham was as mean as the prince he hated robin hood the merry men and the merry men because they robbed the rich and helped the poor robin hood and his men had made formed a group here in the forest they used to rob the rich people and they used to help the poor people this was their greatness but it was not liked by the prince and the sheriff he wanted to capture robin hood who is he here the sheriff wanted to capture robin hood and imprison him forever but robin hood always escaped robin hood was a smart person he would escape away every time he was being captured the archery contest was the sheriff's latest plan so now children this archery contest as suspected by one of the men it was actually a plan to catch hold of robin hood robin hood will not be able to resist participating in the in an archery tournament i will impression him and his merry men when they come to compete he said these are the words of the sheriff he had expected robin hood to come forward for the tournament archery to- tournament and then he had planned to capture him and keep him uh, keep him in the prison capture anyone who is wearing green he told his men robin hood cannot escape from me this time it was his cruel plan and he told his men that he, they should capture anyone who is uh, seen wearing green because robin hood and his merry men used to wear green color he told his men robin hood cannot escape he was very confident that this time he would be he will be able to catch hold of robin hood S- students i conclude my today's chapter till here and let me look forward towards the difficult words of this chapter glossary sheriff a person responsible for keeping law and 